Thank you. Tonight, it's all about one man, one very special person, Gary Frost. We have several people who would like to honor Gary tonight. We also are very pleased to have a special guest with us this evening. Hang in there with me, folks. Please join me in welcoming the President and CEO of the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, Jim Clark. Jim? Good evening. Well, we can do a little better than that for Gary. Good evening. Well, thank you all for being here tonight to help celebrate and recognize truly a great individual in Gary Frost. And many will be up on the stage following me to talk a lot about his time here in Manchester and all the great things that he's accomplished over his career. And I just want to add a few thoughts uh, this evening about Gary's contributions to Boys and Girls Clubs of America, to our movement, and to all of the kids across this nation. To me, there is no higher honor and no greater privilege than to be here tonight to help recognize and celebrate Gary Frost and his accomplishments. If you think about it for a minute, Gary has spent 37 years of his life in this career giving back to this community, helping kids and families who need us most, and creating great futures. The Boys and Girls Club movement has benefited greatly from Gary's contributions over that period of time. The list is long, and to cascade it in front of you this evening would take hours, and I know we don't want to do that. But the capstone, I think, which really illustrates the significance of what Gary has done was last year when he was presented in 2014 the Boys and Girls Clubs of America Professional Association National Executive of the Year Award. Absolutely. As you all know, Gary is the consummate champion for kids. He's an advocate, he's an ambassador, and most importantly, he's all about youth development and what it takes to develop great kids. He's been an innovator and a pace setter in so many ways, yet quiet in many other ways. Last night when we had a chance to spend some time together, I asked Gary, I said, what would you categorize as your single most important accomplishment over the past 37 years. I'll tell you, Gary is one of the most humble people you'd ever meet, and he really didn't want to say any one accomplishment. He went on to say a few. But what stood out is two things in my mind. First of all, in 2010, the capital campaign and the expansion of the Union Street Club here in Manchester is clearly a point of pride in terms of Gary's accomplishments. And the second, I think, is equally if not more significant. And that's the team, the staff that he has developed over the years that work with kids every day to ensure they have a positive impact on their lives. You know, it reminded me of a story. And it's an old story. It's the story of the lamplighter that walks down the street in an era gone by with his torch lighting each lamp along the way, each street light so that people can see, so that they can be safe in their community. And eventually that one individual, that lamplighter, disappears, but the lamps remain lit behind him. And that's what Gary has done here, and that's what Gary has done for this Boys and Girls Club movement. He's created a lighted path, a journey, a path for all to follow. He believes in developing people, and that's been his hallmark. In fact, he's developed training and development programs here in Manchester and in this region of the country that have been cascaded across the Boys and Girls Club movement and implemented across the nation. 
You know, Gary has done many, many special things, and certainly the staff he leaves behind is a tribute to his legacy, but also a tribute to the Boys and Girls Club movement. You know, I also think a lot about the contributions Gary has made to this community, to the families, to the kids, the service that he's provided over time. But I think the most important stories are the ones that are heard in the voices of the kids that have come through the doors of the Boys and Girls Clubs in Manchester. Some of those kids and some of the alumni are here tonight, and I'm sure they've thanked Gary. But there's tens of thousands of other kids that don't know who to thank. So I want to make sure that I thank Gary tonight on behalf of the tens of thousands of kids that he's provided hope, inspiration, that he's given opportunities to, that he's given them access to experiences that they otherwise wouldn't have in life. Gary's a remarkable man. He's a compassionate leader. He's a loving husband. Dottie is here tonight. His two daughters are with him. He's a caring father. He's a humanitarian. And he's a great American. God has placed many gifts on earth. And one of those gifts that we've all received is Gary Frost. So on behalf of our board of directors, our 55,000 employees across this nation, the 220,000 volunteers, and the four million kids that Boys and Girls Clubs serve every year. Thank you, Gary, for what you've done in this community, but what, for what you've done across this nation to help the greatest youth development movement in the world. Congratulations on your retirement, and thank you.